So as you see, the one who changed words from their location, he is doing corruption according to the Quran. This is what you Muslims did. We hear you. See, what, what you're saying makes sense here. What I, I can understand what you're saying. You really have a point here. But, you know, when, when we discuss this inside our mosque, we, we raise these points with our uh, sheikhs here. And they tell us that, you know, the, these are hadiths. You have to compare it with the Quran and see. But again, you showed me another point regarding the muta. So um, I'm confused now. My friend. All of you Muslims, when you say I'm a Muslim, it's mean you believe in, in certain things. And one of them is called Al-Qadr, correct? Sorry, what is that? You believe in the pillars of Islam. You believe in the pillars of faith. You believe in those things, don't you? Correct. Okay, do you believe in Al-Qadr, which means destiny? Al-Qadr. Is it the Quran in chapter of Al-Qamar, verse number 49 says, Everything we created by destiny. Just one second, hold on, please. Huh? My phone is dying. Just one second, I'm just putting on the charger. Well, your phone is dying and your faith is dying too. Just wait. You will leave Islam by the end of the day. You think so? Oh yeah. No, my faith is strong. Yeah, I can tell. You just said I'm confused. <laughs> yeah, you confused me and left me now. So no, you are confused not because of me. I you are confused because of that. Allah's words and His Prophet words. None of them make sense. Okay, there I put the charger and it's charging. So, okay. yeah. So it it doesn't make sense when we look at it like this. Yeah, I admit it doesn't make sense because how can a child go to how can an infant? Hmm. It's just like an infant here. Do you believe by the will oh, of Allah? Not let let me make it simple for you. Do you believe because Allah allow you to believe or because Allah give you freedom to believe? Do you need the permission from Allah to believe? Do I believe if... Do you, well, can you, do you need the permission more? from Allah to believe in Allah? Yes, you do. You need the permission to believe in Allah. Unless you are, yeah. It's not. It's it's, it's mentioned in the Quran, no? That we uh, for for not everybody can uh, believe in Allah. There are certain people where he's hardened their ears and hardened their hearts. Okay, thank you. Cannot hear or now you just see. answer yourself. You just said that Allah is the one who sealed their heart, sealed their eyes, sealed their hearing. Correct. Yeah, the ones who have disease in the heart. No, 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 hold on. Who is the one who makes somebody not to believe is Allah. How? He sealed their hearing, he sealed their eyes, he sealed their heart. Do you agree? Yeah, because he's God. Man. He knows what that person Thank is going you. to be. He but knows that's the, mean, but it's uh, my fault if Allah he thought, sealed. Hold right? on. If Allah sealed my heart and now because my heart is sealed, I cannot believe because I need the permission to believe. Correct. Yeah, so you're destined to go to heaven. So it's not, not my fault then. The then it's not my fault. No, no, this is not about permission to go to heaven. It's not your fault. You, he knows you. He knows you very well. So he's already destined you to go to heaven. That's so false. That's why you're that's, going. That's false. If he know me, why he don't let you me? me? Hold on, be, hold on. You, you mean uh, to say you know uh, you're going to go on, to heaven friend, and God friend. is wrong? He know me, he don't know me. That will not change anything. Let us say I have 10 kids. I know two or three of them, they are very bad. But I'm not going to seal their heart so they will not listen to me. I'm not going to buy, put a cotton in their ears so they will not hear me. I'm not going to put uh, uh, folders over their eyes so they can't see me. If I do that, that's mean I am doing it to them. They are not doing it to me. So when Allah is the one is sealing their heart, that is a destiny. Allah, he sealed their eyes so they can't see why they are blind. They can't see because Allah, he made them don't see. It's not because they choose to see or not. Yeah, that's the difference, isn't it? No. That's the difference. No, no. Because yeah, now, see, for, because for, now, for you, example, see, you, you see, I mentioned to you that Jesus says, not everyone says to me, God, God will enter the kingdom of my father, which means many of us will enter. But the one who do, who is going to be the one, the chosen one from those who say God, God, is those who do his will. 
So he have a will, and we have to agree with his will, not to be forced to hear. I cannot even agree with his will, because Allah, he sealed my eyes, he sealed my hearing, he sealed my heart, and now you are asking me to believe. That's stupid. I no, ask you. See, you as a human being. No, you I'm a human future, being. This is why you should God help me. Not, not the opposite. Enough, I am a human being, not God. So God should help me not to make it impossible for me. Now it's impossible. Because what is left? He sealed my hearing. He sealed my heart. He sealed my eyes. And now asking me to believe? Yeah, because you wouldn't believe anyway. That's How do you know? Leave, leave me, leave me for myself. Because you're the living proof. So, of listen, it. listen. You are you saying are they will not believe TV. anyway. So why he is seeing their heart? They will not believe anyway. Okay, what is the chance? Listen, okay, listen, listen. I have a question for you. Though. Let us say, let us say you are a bad person. Is it true that there is many bad people that repent and they become good people? Correct. All right. So how that will work in repentance? Because Allah hasn't sealed their hearts. He's given them a chance. What do you mean he's in the heart? He, he is the one who sees our heart. <laughs> My friend, yeah, even, so, even the criminals, this is a lie. This is a false statement. Even the criminals, they repent and they ask God for yeah. forgiveness. So when you say right. that God, he made them blind and then he complained why they don't believe. And then we showed you that Allah is the one who mistreated them. I asked you, do you need the permission from Allah to believe? You said yes. Yes. Why I need the permission from Allah to believe? It's his decision. He controls everything. Exactly. So it's not your decision. It's a destiny. It's not. It's not your decision at exactly. all. Exactly. No. So you must then believe. This he is knows who's going, this going is to why the heaven. Child, he knows who's this going is to go to hell. This is why the child, he is a baby, he will go to hell. Yeah, because he knows that uh, that child was destined for hell. How do you know that it's, he is a child? He's dying. He died as a child. He did not grow to yeah, commit that's sin. A Do you, are you saying to me you will punish somebody for no sin he commit? He died. He died as a baby. Yeah, that that is the confusing part for me actually. My friend, the don't, baby. Part. Don't you believe in justice? I do. Okay, is it justice that I will send a baby to hell for no sin he commit? And he is a Muslim baby. No, it's not just. No, it doesn't seem right. Doesn't seem right. Islam is doesn't seem right, right too. Nothing is right in this religion. I need to take this up and uh, I I will I will I will uh, take this up and see what what it is because why you don't really do this, me and you. You said to me, my shake, my shake, my shake. I'm willing to stay with you for mm. the coming few hours if you wish. If you can call your shake to join us, what do you think? Uh, they they don't uh, they don't they don't uh, encourage us to you know speak with any other Christians actually. Do you because know why they don't, don't encourage you? People will. Do you know why they don't encourage you? Because they are they know they cannot refute. They will lose their career. No, what they tell us what they tell us is different. They tell us that uh, you know that, uh, that we are told that you 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 have already uh, corrupted your books. So if you've corrupted your book, well, then you... I just you showed you the Quran different. says, okay, where the Quran says we corrupted our book? It's you Muslim who corrupt the book. If I ask you right now, what is the first chapter was given to Muhammad? What you will say? Uh, I have no idea. Isn't it the one it says to him? But, uh, read? I, I know that there is a... Read? There is an order of revelation and there's an order of... Yeah, uh, okay. So the angel, he came to Muhammad. The first thing he said to him, he said to him, read, correct? Correct. Okay, what is the first chapter in the Quran now? Al Fatiha. So, who is the one who corrupt the book? You. Yeah, this is not corrupt. No, this is the, no, the, this is corrupt. the, same, the Quran the says, listen, listen, the Quran says those who change the words from their location is corrupting the book. Read with me. Which uh, which was that? Uh, you see, this is this is why you don't you should invite your sheikh so he can be he can look so bad. For you, you don't look <laughs> you know, I mean for you, you are not a sheikh, so it's okay. But the Quran says those who change words from their location, they are corrupting the book. Here we go. Chapter 4, verse number 46. But the Quran speaks about the Jews. What they do? They change the word from their location. Your translation, the one you choose from. Here, let's see, this is Biktal. Yeah, this is Biktal. 
بالتالي. saying from their context but in Arabic it says from their location mm. and what happened here context. one Jew he put his finger over a verse he did not change it even he just put the finger over the verse about stoning to death in the Old Testament Muhammad is accusing them that they change the words from their location and that is a corruption but he did not change the book because later we see Muhammad swearing by the same book. He took an oath. So as you see, the one who changed words from their location, he is doing corruption according to the Quran. If you change the translator, this is big time. Let us go to the Hilali and Khan. You will oh, see. Uh, he is, he he will too much of, Among those who are Jews, there are some who displace words from their right places. Do you see it? displace no, what they do they displace words from their right places among those who are the Jews there are some who displace hmm. words from their right places okay so this is they, corruption the one who change place words from their places is a corruption this is what you Muslim did we hear your word and you change words, you change chapters, you change sentence, you change everything. As an example, if you go in the Quran, there's a verse in the Quran. Which I think is talking about the twisting of uh, the twisting of the verses. Hmm. What? I think this is more to do with the twisting of verses. They are taking it, interpreting, interpreting it in whatever would suit them. Like for example, the Quran verse. When you take it, you interpret it in a way. But uh, uh, um, a sheikh, they interpret it in a different way. I'm not way, interrupting, so. my friend. I can uh -huh. show you the interpretation by Muslims. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to give interpretation of my own. If I give you my own interpretation, okay. you will die laughing. Listen, the last thing Muhammad, he said before he died, today I choose for you Islam as a religion. Complete my favor upon you, according to Muhammad. Allah saying that. Do you agree with this statement before he died? This day, this day, I completed, I have perfected your religion for you, completed my favor upon you, and have chosen for you Islam as your religion. This is the last statement Muhammad he said before he died. Do you agree with it? Uh, where is it mentioned before he died? It mentioned that before he died. So it's not before he died. This day I perfected your religion. I'm asking you, this is before, he, my favor is it before he died you? or is this is long before he died? This day, those who have disbelieved have given up all hope of your religion. So fear them not, but fear me. This day, I have perfected your religion for you, completed my favor. So, but this is Allah talking to Muhammad, no? Exactly. But does it say today, this day? It says that, that this day. Yes. Okay, this day what happened? This day I have perfected your religion for you. Okay, so completed Islam is speaking perfect, favor, right? Islam now completed. Islam as a religion, perfected. Everything they need to know about Islam is ready and done. Correct? Yeah, this is Allah's word to Muhammad. No time. problem. That makes it even more horrible. So today Islam is perfect. Today Islam is completed. Today Islam is a chosen for you. Do we agree with this? Yes, but this verse can be true only if this is the last verse in the Quran. See, my 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 phone might disconnect. I'm having a problem with my charger. No problem. Here. You can listen to me later. And uh, uh, thank you for calling. I advise you to bring your sheikh to call me. We join you. I will come him. I will. I promise you. I will be nice. Definitely. To him. All right. But I Definitely. want you to listen to me I, after I will, we finish. I will do this. Yeah, your phone is dying, and your faith is dying, and soon you will leave Islam, and you will see. But as you see here, you can hang up if you want. As you see, if this is really the last, this is, can be true only if it's the last verse in the Quran. Somebody took it, put it here. Yes. For there's no way, because if this is true, that this verse is in the correct location, then all the chapters after this point is a fraud. For Islam is completed. And this is a chapter five. This is a chapter five. Verse number three. That's mean we have 
all the Quran 99% of the Quran is a fraud for Islam is perfect but as for the fraud. order of revelation huh but what verse is this what what chapter is this as for the order of revelation I don't care you see you Muslims who gave you the right to move a verse to this place which make no sense if you Muslims you claim that you preserved your book as your prophet said how in the world the end of the movie became in the beginning who order you who allow you to cut the movie from the end and put it in the beginning this is a true like now I'm done I say thank you guys for everybody I hope today you have a good time but I cannot say that in, in the first five minutes of, of I start unless my video is five minutes and then I stay after that for three, four hours, five hours talking. When in the beginning I said, thank you guys for listening and bye-bye. This is bye-bye. This is Muhammad saying bye-bye. This is, can be true only if he is dying. And this is the last revelation he received from his false God. Today, it's about timing. Not this month, today, this day. I what? I did perfect in your religion. It's, everything is perfect. Nothing is missing. And to make it even more horrible, completed. It's complete. Jesus, he said, it's completed in the cross. Not in the first day. In the cross. If we say it in the beginning, but does it make sense? In the cross, now he is crucified. And then he died. And before he died, he said, it's completed. Makes sense. This is a great proof that the Quran is a book of fabrication. It does not even exist. It's a collection of stories. We do not know who put them together. You Muslims have no authentic source. You don't have a single copy of the Quran. You don't have a single manuscript. There's one manuscript found in the in the University of uh, in England. I forgot the name of the university. It was a gift from a Christian priest. The leather go back to the before the time of Muhammad, but the, what is written there is not the same as the Quran. Just one single manuscript and the Muslim, they make a big noise about it. We have tens of thousands of manuscripts around the world in many languages. And yet the Muslim, they lie and they say we have no book. And then their Quran says confirming what is with them. So my friend Abdul Mumin, I invite you to leave Islam immediately. For you might die today and your soul will be talking take, taken from you and forgiveness is not a choice always forgiveness after you die there's no forgiveness so this is a religion of a fraud everything there is contradiction the quran itself says if this is a book made by other than allah you will find in it a lot of contradiction so the quran itself failed the test of allah which is a silly test by the way because i have many books wrote myself and have zero contradiction doesn't mean I'm God it's a silly challenge